All right, everybody, welcome to Pop Trigger. It's just me and Grace today. Sorry to disappoint. Yeah, you probably wanted people who had talent and charisma. No. Not going to happen. Just go, just go sulk. You just go sit on it. Anyhow, we're going to start the show by talking about the Star Wars posters in America versus China. Uh, they're two different posters, and they feature different things in different ways, and some people are kind of up in arms over the differences between the two. So let's take a look at both of them. Uh, here they are on the left. You've got the Chinese poster, mm -hmm. uh, which one of the main differences I see is the language is different. Yeah, that's and, strange that they made that choice. And we're imperialists, so as an American imperialist, I am angry that our words are not present on the mm. poster. Other than that, so we got two things. Boyega, he's small. He's, he's shrunken into like the right corner. The African English person is now smaller and BB-8 got huge. Huge, and also the all the stormtroopers, I mean, that is clearly the focal point of this poster. I think this appeals more to the Chinese sensibility because <laughs> they have more people. So showing a large mass of people is appealing to them. I, I just think like that. that it's just way too crowded. I think that the original poster was totally fine and people are saying that potentially they changed it because um, of race, you know, maybe that they were trying to shrink uh, John Boyega down, but I, I mean, whether or not that's true, which I mean, there definitely is an argument for, it's just a crowded poster. I, it's. I'm gonna disagree with you on that because I think they're both equally crowded. I, I think that I, when I, you see I, the, there's a sense to the to the one on the right. There's the a one sense on the, to the right other has one. more people. And here's the thing about sagas: mm -hmm. sagas over time just have way more people in them. Yes. You know. Robots, also. Yeah. So that's the thing, is I think that there's just so many characters, mm -hmm. and I think that can be overwhelming for people right. if they're not completely familiar right. with the franchise. But a big they, part of the poster was introducing the new characters. Yeah, but you're not gonna get that from a poster. When I go to see a movie, I wanna see, I think the, the, the Chinese public probably is familiar with huh. Princess Leia and Han Solo. Right. They like robots, I'm right. sure. And they kept everyone that the loves same. robots. Yeah. They made the robot bigger, BB-8. Yeah. Um, and then, Oscar Isaacs, no one says that Oscar Isaacs, who is one of my favorite actors, not having him on the poster at all, why isn't that racist? Mm. Why didn't they say, why did they get rid of one of the people, when they won someone all together? Well, because I think it's, it's, it's so visible that, I mean, Oscar Isaac was hardly featured on the American poster. John Boyega was very prominently featured on the American poster, and now he pretty much is, you know, all but forgotten on the Chinese poster. So I think that's what the argument is. I think this is a non-argument. A non -argument. I don't okay. think that this is something huge and, and everyone should be upset about. Right. I just think that since John Boyega as an actor, until this movie comes out, mm -hmm. is kind of a non-entity to right. people. They don't know who it is. Mm -hmm. So I think in trying to communicate, and they say when things are very popular overseas, it's because they're just simple and dumb and stupid. Yeah. Because the translation, you don't have to deal with it as much. Mm -hmm. Like Avatar was so popular because it was just a simple story and it looked awesome mm -hmm. and all the like, things that could get lost in translation were minimized. Right. So I think for this one, they made the poster actually simpler by definition because they took things out in China. But they also added things in. They took things they out. Add? They added in a bunch of more robots and spaceships and then all the stormtroopers. No, well, look, what I'm saying is that I, I don't I think that part of the outrage comes from the fact that there was all the outrage with John Boyega being cast in the first place as a stormtrooper. Right. So now it's very it's very like, all right, really again, like with the same guy. It's like it, it does seem that he's, you know, kind of gotten shafted unfortunately, with a lot of the press going on about Star Wars. So I think that that's why people noticed it. If the whole, if the internet hadn't gone crazy about him being a stormtrooper in the first place, then maybe they would have been like, oh, well, they, they changed it a little bit because he's not that big of a star. They made Han Solo and Leia a little bit bigger because they are such big stars and, you know, C-3PO is more prominent and we understand that. But because he was so, I mean, for no reason, I mean, for a racist reason, but for really no logical reason, he was so like dragged in the mud. I think that that's why there's this outrage and people are noticing and being nitpicky about the poster and the Chinese company should have known that. Right, and I think that people are getting nitpicky about everything mm -hmm. because we just are, everyone is so over the moon about this. Star Wars, yeah. Over the moon it's, of Endor about this. Right. You know what I mean? I do, yes. And it's and <laughs> and so they take anything that they can find and we overanalyze, but then we'll have a movie and everyone will watch it right. and enjoy it. 
and it'll be good. Everyone's saying or positive things. Or something's going to happen in the movie, and the movie's going to be under a microscope because it uh, because of the prominence of the Star Wars franchise, and then we're going to get mad about something else. Right. So, and so, and they need to expect that. It's their responsibility to understand that people are going to be looking at everything that has to do with Star Wars under a microscope. And yes. they have to expect it. But when the takeaway comes, and everyone, I just want you to, for our Chinese audiences watching, I like China. And Grace seems to think it's racist. What? What are your thoughts? Give us your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.